Uh, happy day of Pentecost to everyone. Glory to God. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, today is the day of Pentecost. That uh, It's not the actual day of Pentecost, but it's the day where we look back and, and see that the Lord poured out His Spirit on all flesh. And, and listening to that song, Rescue, you know, it's, it's talking about the, the day of Pentecost. I hear your S.O.S. Listen, man, the, the Holy Spirit being poured out on all flesh is the evidence that God hears us when we cry to Him. That He hath heard us when we were crying to Him. That He does hear us when we cry to Him. And He shall always hear when we cry to Him. He heard our SOS. He heard us saying we had nothing left. And He poured out His Spirit on all flesh to find us in the darkness. That's the army that He sent out. He sent out the army of His life to find us in the middle of our darkness. To lead us out. Glory to God. That's the evidence that He hears you when you cry. That's how you know. That's how we know. Right? He wasn't calling up from the sky and saying, Hey, here I am. Come find me. I left breadcrumbs. I left a trail. You can get here. No, no, no. But He brought heaven to us. And He poured heaven out on us. He poured out the life that was in heaven and is heaven itself that brings forth heaven. He poured that out so it could dwell in us and so that heaven and earth could collide in us. We were earthy, made from the dust, earth. He was heavenly, containing an incorruptible life. Heaven and earth have collided in all of us. And we have the down payment, the certainty, the surety, That this physical earth, just as heaven and earth has collided inside of us, that this physical earth will collide with the physical heaven. And they will collide and become one. And so heaven and earth will collide in us. And this heaven and earth will collide. And we will dwell with God all the days of our life. The day of Pentecost is the Father of all lights declaring to us, yes, the heaven is my throne. Well, you think the heaven is awesome. And the earth is my footstool. Yeah, it's pretty nice I could put my feet up on the earth. But where is the place where I find my rest? It was us. And when He poured out the Holy Spirit, He was declaring to all of us, the place that He calls home is us. That He's desired nothing more than to tabernacle with us all of our days. And not just have a house next to our house, but to where we could be His house. Where we could share the same thoughts. We could share the same feelings. Where He could experience us and we could experience Him. We could know what it's like to feel what He feels. And He could know what it's like to feel what we feel. And then we could talk about it. Mm. I mean, we're busy trying to escape the earth. And God's like, we're going to get heaven into the earth. (laughs) And that's the day of Pentecost. Man, where he baptized us in the fire of his life. And I know we have a negative connotation with fire. Don't put your hand in the fire, so we'll say it this way. It's the day that he baptized us in the light of his life. Right? He sealed us with heaven. He sealed us with the life in heaven. (laughs) Uh, Glory to God, man. Glory to God. So thank God for that. Thank God that He poured out all of Himself onto us. It says Jesus had the fullness of the measure of the Spirit. I promise you, God poured out all of Himself when He sent out His Spirit. He emptied Himself onto all of us. He saw no reason to hold anything or any part of Himself back. He bared His soul and His heart to us and He emptied Himself onto us. Hallelujah! And now we can walk around in the earth like God men and God women. (laughs) And we can declare that God hears our SOS. That He came to rescue us. That He hears us when we cry out to Him. That He does not despise us in our affliction. He doesn't look at us should we find ourselves trapped in some calamity or trapped in some error or some mistake where we walked out of the way. He doesn't look at us and say, I told you so, now you're going to get what you deserve. No, no, no. His face shines upon us. The Holy Spirit being poured out on all flesh is the face of the Father shining down upon us. And it ain't because we prayed. It ain't because we begged. It ain't because we gave money. 
And in fact, when the Father emptied everything He had in Himself onto us, all of His love, all of His heart, man was so dead in their sin that they even crucified the Lord of glory when He came. In that place, God's face shone down upon us. Man, and when you begin to see that the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of life, and you begin to know the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of truth, and you begin to know the Holy Spirit as the Comforter. You know, when I was a young man, I only knew the Holy Spirit in the sense of, we're going to have these gifts now, and we're going to perform them. And we're going to fall on the ground. And we're going to speak in tongues. And there's nothing wrong with any of that. But that's not actually the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and what I realized is the Spirit, the baptism of an incorruptible life. It's the Father saying, let there be light inside of you. It's you being comforted from the death that's in the world. It's you seeing that God poured out His Spirit of life into the earth to wage a warfare against the death that was warring against you. And you see that His war, He accomplished the warfare. We, you see that where sin was causing death to abound over you, He has much more abound over that death with the Spirit of His grace even unto you being baptized in His eternal life. And you begin to know that Holy Spirit. And you begin to prophesy to one another of that Holy Spirit. And then that which is perfect can come, which is what the Holy Spirit came to bring, that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. And the way that happens is by the love of God manifesting in you and you knowing yourself the way God was always knowing you when He poured out Himself onto you. And then you become a wild person in the earth. Because you become, you begin witnessing of a life that overcomes death in the flesh. You see death in the flesh. You see sin in the flesh. You see the infirmity and the weakness of the flesh. And your mind is filled with the life that overcomes it. And you begin witnessing of that life. And it binds death in the earth. It binds sin. It forbids death in people's lives. It forbids fear in people's lives. It forbids anxiety in people's lives. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you, let me loose for two hours about the day of Pentecost. Seriously. Because there's, you could just keep going and going and go, go over here and go over there and do that. <laughs> the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. You know, the, I think it was Paul that come upon some of John's disciples. And uh, they said something like, uh, hey, we had... I think Paul asked them if they were believers in the way or followers of the way and if they had received the Holy Spirit. And I think they said, man, we we didn't even know there was such a thing as the Holy Spirit. And so, if there's anybody here that hasn't known there's such a thing as the Holy Spirit, if there's anybody here that hasn't known that God has poured out His Holy Spirit to dwell in you, that when you call upon the name of the Lord, when you hear that He's come and called you His own through the person of Jesus and you commit your life into His hands, that you become the temple of the living God and the Holy Spirit rushes in like a mighty wind and it fills your house and it fills you with so much that it exceedingly abundantly abounds in you unto the fruit of God's life pouring out of you. If you've never heard of that, if you've never heard that you can be filled with that, maybe you've already been filled with that and you just don't even know what's in you, whatever it may be, we don't have to be doctrinal, we're just going to pray right now, whether you're here or whether you're online. Thank you, Father, that we are the place where you find your rest. Thank you, Father, that you come to dwell in us like a rushing wind of life that sweeps our house clean and keeps our house clean, that binds the strong man, that removes the fear. Thank you, Father, there been anybody out there that didn't know there was such a thing as the baptism of the Holy Spirit that they could find your life just coming in like a rushing wind and baptizing them in the light of your life. Thank you, Father, that your life dwell in them that it'd be so much that they can't contain it and that it'd just come pouring out of them and that they walk around in the earth becoming witnesses of a life that overcomes the grave. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Father.